Matthew chapter 17. Six days later, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain in seclusion. There, he underwent a transfiguration before them. His face shone as brightly as the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. Moses and Elijah appeared before them, conversing with Jesus. Peter exclaimed to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tabernacles here. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Upon hearing this, the disciples fell face down, filled with fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up, do not be afraid. When they looked up, they saw no one but Jesus alone. As they descended from the mountain, Jesus instructed them, Tell no one about this vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. His disciples questioned him, saying, Why then do the scribes claim that Elijah must come first? Jesus replied, Elijah indeed is coming, and he will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him but did to him whatever they pleased. In the same way, the Son of Man will suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. When they reached the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt down before him. He said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and suffers severely. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus answered, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of the boy, and he was cured instantly. Later, when the disciples were alone with Jesus, they asked him, Why could we not cast it out? He replied, Because of your unbelief. For assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. While they were staying in Galilee, Jesus told them, The Son of Man will be betrayed into the hands of men. They will kill him, and on the third day, he will be raised up. This saddened the disciples greatly. When they came to Capernaum, those who collected the temple tax approached Peter and asked, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? Peter replied, Yes, he does. When Peter entered the house, Jesus anticipated him and said, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth collect customs or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? Peter answered, From strangers. Jesus replied, Then the sons are exempt. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. When you open its mouth, you will find a coin. Take it and give it to them for me and you.